Good evening everyone, it's Paulie. How has your day been? I hope you uh, all had a fantastic day. Uh, the weather here in Perth was beautiful, oh my gosh. Um, it reminded me of summer, I've told you before how much I miss summer, but um, uh, yeah, it was a beautiful day. Uh, now you'll notice I'm wearing my safety equipment today and that's because we're about to have a safety talk. Now don't run away, don't run away just yet. Um, this uh, isn't going to bore you to death, but um, hopefully it will raise some awareness and, uh, and uh, avoid any uh, risks. And the subject we're talking about today is laptop safety. So for most people, if you've got a laptop, uh, Mac, PC, whatever it is, um, you know, it's probably, firstly, it's an investment. I mean, whether it be for productivity school or especially at a time like this, essential for communication, um, you don't want anything to happen to your laptop. So the first piece of advice that I'd like to offer is ensure at all times, whenever you're charging your laptop or even if you've got your uh, desktop computer, have a surge protector. By this $20 device can stop uh, you losing thousands of dollars because of a surge or, or something of that nature. Now, um, people say it can't happen to them, but I've, when I was uh, back in IT, I would see you know, 10, 20 cases a month where the uh, laptop transformer had blown or their power supply had blown in their computer. In some cases, it had even fried the computer. So a surge protector, $20 can save you thousands and, and you'd rather avoid that risk. And actually, if you have a, a flat screen TV, plasma, LCD, uh, any expensive electronic device, plug it into a surge protector. Make sure you've got one of these because you will... Uh, you don't want to have not have one and it happen. Um, it's it's embarrassing. So yeah, that can save you. Now the second thing is uh, to do with say uh, your laptops. Um, many a time, where are we? I've got an example down here. Uh, your charger may go. Uh, these can be frail, the cables or whatnot, and they're also expensive. Um, so online you'll probably find eBay or Amazon. They'll be selling uh, non-official licensed products or non-OEM products and uh, while considerably cheaper uh, these can often have issues with your laptop um, you know even if you do check say the voltage the amperage and uh, and uh, what else has it got on there volt amps yeah that's pretty and the watts if you check all those it still may not work out they've all got different connectors it's better to play it safe and most OEM or manufacturer products come with a warranty so you know if anything does go wrong if you've got your surge protector, it's covered by them. Uh, there's normally some sort of replacement if it's within a certain amount of time or if it's uh, due down to, their, uh, down to their fault. Now, uh, the second tip, of course, is uh, keeping your laptop cool. Um, I often see, uh, back when fans were in laptops, you'd often see uh, laptops blocked up with a lot of uh, lint or they start to overheat. And the reason for this is because they've been placed on uh, fibrous surfaces or surfaces that aren't Firstly, flat, or they may be material, um, but anything other than a desk. Now, uh, while today that doesn't matter because a lot of them have uh, don't have they've got passive cooling or active cooling or whatever it's called, and may not have fans. Um, these laptops can still reach up to 100 plus degrees, um, and if you Google search the news, you'll find plenty of cases of people receiving third degree burns on their laps and on their knees because they've had their laptop there when they've been working. Um, and I mean, if you're not putting it on your lap, you're putting it on your bed, it's still gonna be getting really hot. So the first thing to do is of course keep, let me fix up the YouTube, uh, Instagram uh, users here. So first thing to do is of course keep it on your desk. Now, if you are really dependent on your laptop, you may even go for a laptop cooler. Now, this is only $20, but it ensures that the laptop stays cool at all times. Oh, Fix that frame up. Oh, hello, Mike. Hello, guys. Um, sorry, I better wave back to these people. Hello. There we go. Oh my God, I'm old when I do that. Um, so yeah, one of these uh, laptop coolers, twenty dollars. But that way, if you are going to use it on your bed or somewhere that's uh, like uh, uh, on your lap or something, this is not only cooling it down, but it's giving you a bit more distance. And um, yeah, parents, if your kids are using it on their lap, just be careful. Now, the other reason why not to use it on your lap is because most modern laptops have lithium-ion batteries. Now, they're fantastic um, in the sense you can uh, use them. You don't have to recharge, wait till they're fully drained to recharge them like old, uh, older batteries or whatnot. But the uh, issue with them is that they're highly reactive and, uh, 
have been prone to explode. Um, I mean, we all remember the Samsung case, and that's not just isolated to that phone. Lithium ion is a highly unstable substance, uh, and when it uh, mixes with oxygen, it explodes. So, um, keeping, while well, I'm not saying that will happen, you want to avoid that from happening. So that's another reason why you should keep it off your lap, and maybe get a laptop cooler. Um, now, let's say you've been naughty and you've spilt a, a beverage or food onto your keyboard. Um, let's say it's food. Don't rub it in. Uh, if you've got a, a vacuum that sucks or blows, just get that. That way you won't actually push them into the uh, crevices. Or you go onto eBay, you get one of these USB uh, little vacuums. I think I showed this at the start of the week. That's $5. Um, so that's the first thing with food. Uh, of course, keep the screen clean. But uh, let's say you spill liquid. So um, first thing, unplug it. Unplug it straight away. Uh, second thing, uh, turn it upside down and flatten it out. It'll drain out. Um, now, of course, at a time like this, you don't want to waste paper towels or a, uh, I mean, I'd advise for a non-fibrous sort of a, 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 like a chamois or something to soak it up, but if you don't, a towel is good, so just put your towel down, laptop open on top, and that will let it all drain out. Don't put it outside. Never leave your laptop outside for extended periods. The heat and the, uh, the temperatures can affect the battery and the other components. And uh, touching on the heat and temperature, um, people that live in extreme temperatures, uh, lithium ion batteries are, uh, are affected by those climates. So if it's a really hot day, your lithium ion battery, as you'll know on your phone, may, uh, may drain quicker. Uh, you may have seen the too hot and cooling down function where it just switches off. And same in the cold, you can lose a lot of, uh, a lot of your val uh, the battery's life if it's uh, run in very cold temperatures. So um, they're just a couple of safety tips that will hopefully help you and uh, continue to work from home safely. Uh, so once again, running through them, uh, avoid keeping it on your lap, uh, avoid uh, uh, non-factory uh, uh, charges, have a surge protector for everything, and if you have a spill, unplug it and turn it upside down. If you guys have any questions about tonight, just drop us a, a DM in the comments. The replay of this will be up soon. And uh, I've also got a link to a blog which you can read these details. So everyone, have a wonderful Wednesday. And uh, everyone overseas, have a terrific Tuesday. Stay awesome. Stay happy. Be kind. Uh, stay healthy. And uh, chat soon. Peace out.